What's going on, guys? It's your boy Dirt by Guy Zero Seven. What's good, guys? It's like my weekend, living up a little bit. Some big developments, uh, and what's going on right now. I don't even know how to put it in words, but I'm definitely excited right now. I'm I'm livid, honestly. I'm livid. Um, it's been a rough week. Uh, I don't know how how I'm releasing the content, so I'm trying to really watch my word and how I'm putting everything out. But ah, so I don't know how this video is gonna turn out, how this content is gonna turn out. But just follow me, um, like, subscribe, share. It's your boy Abundance Ron. It could be Dirt by Guy Zero Seven. I don't know what I'm using today, y'all. So just 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 deal with your boy. So and so I can give you uh, a, a understanding of this new thing. Let me quickly give you let me quickly let me give you like a uh a, 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 a understanding of what's been going down so for sure this is on my dirt by guy channel so on my dirt by guy zero seven channel you know what i'm saying you know how we hit that bottle you know what i'm saying that's what we do on the channel so come on now guys just see that i got the tony hawk you didn't see me with the swing wind mountain bike you seen me with a few different things man and um oh I, I i totally left off the fact of the the 40 cc pit bike um we got the uh we got the um tower motor tbr7 yeah the 230cc uh we got the drz 400 oh man so guys i'm definitely giving you bike content and i'm enjoying every bit of it and i hope that you guys have been able to watch and enjoy and i know you hit that like button and that's why you sub and that's why you also sharing because you just love it so the content has been so popping man um or as far as me being able to get out here and be in my activity and record and put it out but guys i was trying to bring something else to the channel um I, I, a brand new edition of something had dropped this year um early in may i was ready to get it in fact i put the bread down to get it a special edition um in short time went down and when the deal when the package finally arrived guys they, they wanted a little bit more and i wasn't quite feeling that and maybe i'll give y'all more information more vlogs or whatnot on what's happening but so that deal fell apart guys that deal fell apart as I was leaving to go out the country. And um, so, since that deal fell apart, since that deal fell apart, it's like, okay, I need I need something else, right? But I got kind of kind of content because of what I do have and I'm getting better on what I do have. And, and so I've been good, but guys, I got a blessing. A blessing came my way. And that's what we fin this is what this video is about. A blessing came my way. A blessing came my way, guys. And I'm gonna show you what it is. We're gonna go ahead and get to the main reason why I'm excited. Just stay tuned, okay? So y'all know I just had to get that the, the 720. 720 got a beat up, so you gotta work on that. 720 is still doing its thing, it has taken a lot of beating. So I took it out on the trail, so it had a little squeaky noise. I think uh, the situation with the prank too, as well. So I still ride it. Um, I found this little cool bike on the side of the road. It's pretty good. Wash it up. Put a little lube on the chain, stuff like that. Honestly, I uh, can't wait till the little man, one of the little men's little grandkids or something, get on it and see what he do. But then we got, of course, the lady bike right here. The lady bike got the wood spray there. Got to keep the buzz off of you. This bug, this mug here, she flies on this man. I be trying to give her props. She don't even understand that she be making moves on this huffy fit bike, man. So very comfortable seat too, man. That seat is perfect. And boom, that's the baby I've been working with right now. Guys, I made a story on that. So you see, that's that's the garage. But guys, guys, let's check this the out. L.E. Coney. I don't know what that means, but I like this motto. Live well, be well. That's right, guys. We still got the 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 the, uh, the cardboard from the Tony Hawk still on the garage floor. 
Now, look, guys, I can't believe it. My JLB gave me a gift card, guys, and I got me a, a bike, guys. I got me a bike, so I'm so excited. I'm ready to jump into this thing. Um, this bike, this L. Econi bike, I went on Amazon. They said it was gonna take a couple of weeks to get here. Man, this thing showed up in like four days max. Four days max, look at the condition of the box. This is what it looked like. Um, do got a couple, I guess those are really like carry holes maybe on the side or something like that. Do got a little damage right here too. I'm just hoping that that didn't damage anything in the box. But so far that could, you know, that could be shipping. I don't know, but on this side, they did a really great job. So this is gonna be nice, man. We got the pack. We got the pack right here, guys. I can't wait to get this joint out. When you guys see this, it's gonna be awesome. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna do a really big, long build video on this, but I'll try to give you a couple of clips or two and we'll see what it do. Until then, guys, let's get it. Let's get it. I got another bike. I'm losing my mind. I'm going crazy. Look. Look. Hey, look. Ellie Coney. Ellie Coney. Okay, I was just able to crack the box open a little bit right here. So, boom, let's take a look at the packaging. Pretty easy to get into the box. And what I do like is this is that saw that shows that there's damage on on this side. Look, guys, they were smart enough to put an extra piece of protection around the box. So that could be normal, but I do appreciate it. I do, because I'm excited. I want to pull this thing out, guys. Dude, look at that hint. Look at that big. There's a hint right there what it's gonna be like. Okay, guys, so I got it it's out of the box. Right here, this is how it all comes assembled. Everything is together. It's all together. Yeah, it's all together. Nice. So far, nice. I'm loving it. There's my toolbox. And this is everything right here. So, um, pretty much looks like I'm just, this is gonna be a bike review. One of the things that I do in my life do some reviews on my experiences so here we go um so i'm gonna go ahead and get into the bill guys probably the next time you see this it's going to be totally assembled um but at the least you get a good idea how to ship it what it's like when you open it up what you're getting how it all comes how's it all looking um which i want this information to be helpful to you all so far i'm impressed they did, I think they did a decent job. I mean, so get one more video real quick. Uh, I'm holding up the box. You see, we got instructions. Ellie Coney got the instructions. This protector. Y'all seen this? We got pedals. Okay. For the reflector. See reflector thing there, probably. Ba -ba -ba -ba, yeah. More stuff. Hey, hey guys, look, the bag of tools open up, so to make sure I don't lose anything. Reflector. Add an inch. More stuff for the reflector. And please, which is probably to break this. I remember from watching the install videos, which I did watch the install video, so. Shout out to the company for putting out the install video. It wasn't for the exact specific bike, but it was a mountain bike. So that's everything out of that. So that's what comes in the box, guys. One, two, three, six screws. Just like in the video, look like it got some thread lock on there too. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Yep. There it is. I just seen the coolest thing. There he is, guys. Look at that, turtles and fish. Wow, 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 wow. So relaxing. That is so cool, he's just doing his thing. Oh, oh snap, there goes another turtle. There's two turtles, the ninja freaking turtles. Yo. Whoa. Look at that, guys. And if I drop my phone, please understand me. I'm getting in there with the turtles to get, to get my stuff. But look at that. That's cool. He even has all the stuff on his back and 
over there he doesn't so i guess this is his spot where he get his parlay on nice and you can see fishies and stuff that is so cool okay guys so yeah like i said uh we want to i want to show you what what this is all about boom let's look at it guys here it is uh the ellie cody godzilla quad four bike fabulous as you can see guys Whew. so it is better in person than it is on the website i would say that this paint job is fabulous guys look at that oh my god this thing is a beauty it, the price i got it, this bike has already went up guys i suggest you go there asap you know what i'm saying this is a lovely bike man just the beauty of the uh the styling on it the graphics the paint the just look at this guys oh and the most beautiful thing or interesting thing about this bike is the actual foes foes y'all are riding on 26s foes man 26 foes man guys the craziest thing is guys i did not have this bike assembled correctly even after watching the video i didn't listen to myself but as you can see this thing is dazzling it is dazzling dual disc brakes guys oh man these come already to uh, this time all that part coming similar to the bike already you don't have to assemble none of that just sit your seat posts you dig your pedals nice pedals you just assemble that you put the, you attach your handlebars attach your front wheel guys look at that look at that let's look at the shimano transmission yeah this nice steering nice grips so guys i'm i'm probably like four miles in Three and a half to four miles in on the bike. The first three miles, I was ridden the bike incorrectly. Um, it wasn't assembled correctly, guys, so it didn't come out correctly. So I finally got back around to get it right. So I ridden it. Let's go ahead, do the review again. Let's get into it. Look at these. This beautiful paint, the black shots with the yellow. It's a sticker, but it just sticks out so well. Looks so much better now that it's looking correct. Yeah. Um, I, this doesn't come with it. I added this when I'm riding off my other bikes here. Man, I, just, I love this, this black in with the green Godzilla. The splash of the Godzilla. It's like the splash with that Godzilla logo. This is lovely. Um, L.A. Conan really branded the bike in several places. That's cool. As you can see on the seat right there. And I like the fact that they did not give you like the aluminum or metal front thing there. They actually use a sticker or I don't know if it's just a paint job or something, but yeah, they actually put it on like that. So I'll definitely like that. You branded it again right there. So yeah, guys, we feel L, L E Koning. I went to your site there on Amazon. Good looking, good assembly video. On uh, the assembly video, there's a, like a smaller mountain bike, but it's pretty much the same. Um, I did notice that I did not have to uh, assemble the front disc brake. You know what I'm saying? Y'all see that I didn't have to assemble that. Uh, I, um, that was already, I mean, when I say that, I mean this right here. If you can see that, I'm holding up. But this right here, I didn't have to assemble. That was already attached. Um, so I just had to take the blade, I mean, uh, the disc, take the six bolts, um, and attach, you know, that the disc to the brake. So we, I will say, guys, these screws that go to the disc, don't over torque them. These are very easy to strip. Very easy to strip. Very, very, very easy to strip. I would say they need a warning about that or put some better screws in there very easy because you might just trying to make sure like i come from the motor world and if you ain't got stuff tightened appropriately it could cost you a disaster so i kind of over torque just one but it kind of stripped one time not real real strip but it's close guys so that's my heads up that's what i noticed or um, like i said really easy assembly um so things that i will point out to you guys from my experience is all right so boom when you assemble this when this is your seat ring when you send that tightness tightness tighten it really really tighten it these screws are strong it's just this bolts uh to the uh the brake to the did the brake this bolts that are, are like 
kind of lower quality or maybe a lighter material so but all the other screws strong like steel grade a steel so tighten this guys you got to tighten this very much because if you don't this will come down on you that happened to me you can see a scratch too from when it happened and definitely tighten it tighten it and tighten it and really tighten it much as you can so it doesn't also it doesn't turn both directions so i had to have to me this morning so i'm a rookie i've only done like two or three box bikes to family so i'm still learning um also tighten this tighten these bolts tighten these bolts it came a similar pretty decent but you got to tighten them i like um i'm right at 200 pounds so yeah um you know my weight would change the, the you know call the seat to fold up and down so i tighten these tighten these tighten these tighten these very, very important you know so that right there so yeah tighten this right here on that side tighten these two bolts then um after you get your handlebars all straightened out perfectly and stuff like that be sure to tighten these two screws one right here and then there's one more right here tighten these this is actually got you everything angled correctly and then there's this comes out and there's a screw right here tighten that tighten that too screw right here when you put this little black thing out it's a screw uh, right there uh, uh allen wrench tighten it tighten it tighten it after this is after everything is firm though as you got your everything like aligned correctly for yourself tighten these very much so so that this doesn't turn off on you that it just really secures the stem to the to this right here and that it doesn't turn on you guys um tighten these up here as well these are very strong uh bolts so i had any, no issues with that up there guys this is the front of the bike of course on the shocks that's where i messed up this morning um but since i fixed that it's perfect really super nice ride i rode it through the grass and pavement super nice ride man um yeah it was definitely a super nice ride can't lie to you super nice ride uh um sure i'll make a maybe an enhancement too but i don't have to do that much it's really a very decent bike for me um i'm not trying to be a pro rider or anything like that i strictly recreational fitness wise activity wise something to do get out get some good air get in the environment this is what this bike is for hence that's why it's on the buns run channel and it's on the dirt bike guy 07 channel it's going to be on both channels but um this is the one of the new tools that i use on the buns run channel because we're going to be doing some different content that i'm working on um so so i'll just stay tuned for that third by guy 07 channel this is you know we got multiple bikes on there this is another bike to the channel so we booming and going we booming we booming baby um so guys I, this is so long of a review i know i need to get out of it and go ahead and move on get back to my exercise routine but guys super nice bike it's worth it i would say it's a buy if you're a recreational non-pro type of person you're just trying to get out very easy to assemble if you really can get this thing probably assembled in less than an hour um tighten all your parts and your bolts right correctly you're good i i i'm, I'm good solid love it bike i'm finna go have some more fun on this thing couldn't wait i didn't get to do it last night so i got up this morning had to ride but it is written assembled a little incorrect so i fixed that now psh, your boy staying fresh and up yeah. guys like subscribe share the channel man ben y'all stay tuned get in the comment section tell me what you think about the bike tell me what you think about the new experience you're about to feel what's going on guys yo just stay tuned for all the great content that's coming i gotta get out this thing and ride baby peace